Welcome back to Roadsteading, Ben and Lauren here, and the sun is setting once again here in Medora, North Dakota, and I just got back from the post office where I picked up our new Sterling battery to battery charger 1260, the BB1260, which we're going to be installing here this week, but it's not the first time we've installed one of these. This is actually the second one we have purchased from Sterling Power USA. And I want to do a review on the one that we currently have installed, why we're replacing it with this one, and what we think about it after utilizing it for the past four years. We first installed a Sterling 1260 on our fifth wheel RV back in 2018 when we rebuilt, redesigned, or redid whatever we did to the fifth wheel back then. And it was the first DC to DC charger we've ever ran. We had no idea what to expect out of it. We've also never owned a generator, a traditional generator for this RV either. So this seemed to be a nice go between between a traditional generator and a DC to DC charger. And I really like the idea because when we're driving down the road, we can be charging our batteries, which we talked about in our last review of the Sterling battery to battery charger. Well, I didn't know this, and I didn't know this until we were in Arizona, but something was going wrong with our Sterling battery to battery charger. When we were in Arizona, we started having issues with our DC to DC charger or battery to battery charger, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to open this up here. And I called Sterling Power and I explained to them the situation I had going on and I explained that I think it's overheating. Well, they asked me a question, temperature sensor, they asked me a question that I could not answer. And that was simply because it was a color question. They said, what color is the label on the front? This label right here. I don't know if you can see that there. That label right there. They said, what color is the label? So me being color deficient as I am, I went and got Lauren and she went and looked at it. And we told them it was whatever color it is. I'm not sure. And they said, wow, you have one of the older versions, one of the first generations. How have you been running it for so long? And I said, I have no idea. I said, but we have, and now it's giving us issues. They said that we've had it so long that they couldn't do a replacement, a warranty replacement for it, but they would sell us a new one at a discount, which they did. But it's not a sponsored video. They sold this one at a discount to us because we bought one from them in the past. That's not working anymore. So thank them for that. Sterling Power USA based out of Maine. You can buy these through a lot of vendors today. But back then when we first bought it, they were the, like the only vendor and uh, decided I wanted to buy from them again. And thinking back on this now, four years and oh, this is cool. It looks like this unit was bench tested before they sent it out. I like that. Um, our Midnight Solar Kid charge controller was also bench tested before we installed it. I really like that. I really like that this has been bench tested. Anyway, going back and thinking back on once I installed this, how it had been operating, it had been failing for quite some time. But we only really utilized the DC to DC charger as a generator in the winter months when our solar wasn't keeping up with our needs. And when we installed it in 2018, that winter we boondocked a lot, nearly every single weekend, and we utilized the DC to DC charger as happy as we could be. We didn't know too much at the time, but we would plug in the truck and idle away and we'd get power. That's what I knew. But I did see the amperage go up and then drop down and you'd hear the fans turn on and, and, it, and it would do this. Fast forward, we were in Rhode Island we started having issues with our power converter at the time, which led me to use our Sterling to charge our RV there for a few days until we got a new uh, power converter. Now, power converter is what you use when you take shore power or alternating current 
120 volt alternating current in this case and change it to 12 volt DC current for our battery's needs. And when we were in Rhode Island, started noticing an issue there again. And again, I didn't really know what was going on. And I've done this before and I did it again. I said, well, I think it's the alternator. I went to a completely different component of our system and should have just called Sterling back then and, and asked him, you know, help me troubleshoot it. But I guessed and I threw money at this and I installed this high powered Mechman alternating system that kind of fixed the problem, but not really. Well, it was springtime there. So temperatures were warmer some days, some days they were colder. And, and when I tested it, it happened to be a cold day and it ran just fine. So now fast forward to the Tetons. We just installed our new 600 amp lithium battery bank. We were excited. We went out boondocking for the weekend. We drained our batteries down. We said, let's run the DC to DC charger at full potential. We haven't done this in a long time. On our drive back into the park, it's over 100 degrees. We got in a wildlife jam and watched the wildlife cross the road for a while, which we enjoyed thoroughly but by the time we made it back to our work camping spot the sterling had just shut itself down and i thought well that's understandable it's really hot it probably went into some overheat mode that i don't know about well immediately after that we got sick and i kind of forgot about it we get down to arizona the dc to dc charger seems to be working fine but i'm only running it while we're driving our solar was keeping up so I wasn't utilizing it heavily. Now we're in Arizona, we're sitting still, the days are shorter, we don't have enough solar to keep up. So now we're running our truck like a generator. And for most of the winter, we got by just fine. Well, springtime hits again, temperatures are warming up, we start having issues. This time I call Sterling. And, and that's when they told me that we had a very old version that had a flaw in it and they, they've actually changed the design. They said there's a fuse in here. Oh yeah, look at this. The fuse in here is different from the fuse we have. Um, we kept having issues with this fuse literally melting down. And they said, we don't know how you've been running it so long. It's out of warranty. We can't send you a replacement, but they would sell us this one at a discount, which they did. And it's not a sponsored video. We just bought this at a nice discount that they they provide it to us and I really want to see what a 1260 does to its full potential so I'm excited about this now when we were in Arizona I, I had big plans I was gonna install three of these I was gonna upgrade all of our wiring but I don't think that's in the cards for us this summer um, here in Medora I, I money needs to go to different things right now so that's why we're not going to be installing three of these. We're not going to be upgrading the wiring just yet. Plus, I really want to see what one of these does. Because I've only got to see what one that's kind of malfunctioning does. I've never got to see one that is ran at full potential or its full potential. So I c before I go installing three of these, I better make sure one works for us. And then maybe I only need two of them. So I'm excited to get this in. I'm excited to get that problem solved. But I tell you all this to say this. RVing, you're going to run into issues like this. And at the time, DC to DC charging was new. So for it to still work is really impressive to me, even though it wasn't working to its full potential. And if you're building your own system, you know, you, you will run into problems like this. We ran into problems like this with our converter. We ran into problems like this with our solar. Um, most of the things have been solved fairly easily in the settings and um, so I just wanted to say that don't give up and that's my take on running the Sterling 1260 for the past four years and I can't wait to do a review on how it goes once I install this new one so until next time remember to seek learn, experience, and grow, and keep those batteries charged. And join our caravan by clicking that subscribe button for more RV related topics.